Zone 2. Welcome back. We're here with the TGC Tours here. We're at our second round. This is what's going to make or break our season opener here. We just finished our first round at four over. It was a tough break, but we're back at it again here. And I'm just ready to play more of the cracked open here at the Lower Fishing Lake Golf Club. I wish that wasn't a whole mouthful to say, otherwise I would have been saying it fluently, but here we are. It's no big deal. We're just ready to play some golf. Starting off better than we did the first time. Weather seems a bit calmer now as we uh, take our first drive at 311. Here's our uh, second shot. This one, we haven't played at this whole location today. Yeah, the wind is not playing around, so we're going to tease it a little. going to play right on it. That may be a little bit too much. Oh, that's going to fly right over. All right, no big deal. We just got to account for this location here this is left to right and it's going pretty fast but slow at the same time this is 23 feet that one's tracking nice way to start the round big time shot All right, here we are at the par five second, 547 yards. Kind of want to tease that cart path and let that thing go flying, but we're going to play normal now. This still might accidentally, well, that's not, that wasn't a cart path I was trying to hit either. Well, I wasn't trying to hit it. I was still looking for the fairway, but... Here we are. This is 250 yards right here. Laying up. I don't think you can go for it, but I don't want to lose too much yardage just to not make it. No matter what, this was going to be a layup, but I'm just glad that we're back on the fairway. Ninety yards left to the hole. That sounded good. Big shot right there. Bit of ways, about 20 feet. As we just got our scores from our first round. Place 67th. We're 20 spots off the cut line. The cut line's at 4 under currently. This is for birdie. 22 feet. That one's looking like it's veering off too much to the right there. At least clean this one up for par. Gets it done. Here we are at the third. fade there but not too bad should be okay currently looking at 300 yards and some change on that drive looks like it's going to be uphill for this second shot here at the third 
Oh yeah, that's big time uphill. Six iron should definitely do the trick. Nice swing. That's definitely going to get us some movement. We are definitely getting not... We're not getting a bunch of roll here, which... At most times, I don't want. But in this case, we kind of needed it because this is 31 feet. This one might have to be a two-putt finish right here. That's going to be a nice tap in. I can handle that. Not quite a tap in, but... We get it. We got a long ways to go. There's no need to rush. But we need three birdies to get to even par and another four to get inside the cut line temporarily. And we have a par three here. And uh, try as we might to try to mop that one up. We're on the fairway, just not on the green. Here's the Freddy flop. What a stop to put that. That's in five feet. That's like two feet. Yeah. What a great escape out of that one. That's a big time shot. Big time shot to recover from that. Now par five on the fifth. Sounded good. Now the question is how do you play this second shot knowing that you're gonna have to lay up? Well, laying up here is definitely gonna be something. We could hit driver just for funsies. It could hit the bunker. Honestly, don't care. Like, the next one's gonna be in play. Unless it goes that far to the left, but... It's gonna be in the fairway. Took a good kick. Now, this one, though. We're gonna try the flop again. I think we're gonna try the flop again. But uh, this time, it did not work for us. So we uh, did not even get on the green. Now that one, though. That was a good approach. Sucks that this is for par. But it's better than bogey. Right, here we are at the sixth. That good old dog leg we've been murmuring about. That time we clear it almost. Car path. No car path, but we will be on the fairway. Good yardage, 314. All right, now this next shot. I shall try to make the ball disappear. Hmm. 
not the best line in the world, but that's 25 feet to the cup. We haven't made any long putts today. Will this be the first? Not quite. We're going to keep the par streak alive through six. And now here we are at the seventh. Nice sound. This might clip the tree here. But we still at a good distance with 280. Now here's with the 9-iron. See if that's good. You know, we... The one time I wanted to put backspin on it, I didn't. That might have helped us, though, because uh, it might have left us shorter than we expected. Or needed it to. 25 feet. This is tracking real good. And there's our long putt. For birdie. We had our first one at 23. That one's at 25, and we're going to get a replay. Yeah, this was a right to left putt all the way. We've been practicing these on the first round. We got it again there. That was huge and a half. Moving on, now two over through seven. Now here is a par three. Very tough decision what you want to do here. That was definitely going to be wide. Now this one is going to be a challenging contest here. 43 feet. This is going to be our longest one today. We've tried to make some 43 foot putts before. This one is going to put... Us at back to back birdies if we make it. I think that's looking pretty solid. Oh man, it was so close. And then that break at the end because we didn't put the brakes on it. This is the save par. Yeah, that. That hill was deadly. We should have never kept it that far. This is why I always rather to keep it short than anything. That's our first bogey. Now as we head on to the ninth. Nice solid swing there. Should be on the fairway. It's 308. Did turn a little bit, but uh, I don't think it's going to be too bad. I'm going to move this one off the green, thinking it's going to drift. Let's see if that's the right call. That's I think that was the right call. It's just we didn't know how serious it's gonna be. But we do have a chance to creep this one on for Birdie if we do it right. Look at that. We did all we could there. We'll keep the par. And after nine, we're still in some trouble. Three over. It's 
We need seven birdies and nine holes. We do have some par fives, but we also have some par threes. We're starting this one with a great tee drive. 300 yards with 190 to go. Now this one... Let's see if the 6-iron will be the club of choice here. Actually, we're going to go with the 5-iron. Dial it back. That one's a bit slow, but I think that one will be on. It's just a bit further away from what we wanted it to be. We're going to have to earn our birdies today. This one's 40 feet. That one's going to be under the hole. Yeah, that's taking off way too much this time. Nine feet. Great save. The brakes are a bit serious this time compared to the first round. And now we really need to get it together. With the three iron. That's a bit slow, but I think we're going to be okay. Still a little bit too far. But I think we're okay. 19 feet. Not the... Not the easiest putt in the world, but that was 19 feet in for birdie. If we make par here, if we make par, even though we missed a cut, it's a, it would be considered a great start for the season that we just made even par through all the troubles we've been through. We're at a par four here. This is 467 yards. I'm going to go ahead and put a little draw on it. Because we've been swinging the ball perfectly. I wouldn't say perfect, but a lot better than the first round. The first round, we just had a lot of butterflies. That one was for 343. And now, second shot. That one's a bit fast, but oh man, that is short. Well, we're definitely got our work cut out for us here. Longest putt, 54 feet. I don't think we got all of it. He was right. This is for par. By a hair, we miss it. That takes away our bogey. And now we're in trouble. Pressure is sinking in now. 
and we goofed up on that one. Let's see if it stays on the short stuff. Oh no. Into the sand. Oh, I'm glad we're not on the green because that was not going to be fun. Twenty yards. What a shot! But that's going to roll a bit. We'll keep the par. Running out of time here, but we have a par five. That sounded delicious. We only got 305, but that sounded delish. Gonna go for it through the trees here. That might overshoot everything. All right, so this is gonna be a long putt. I don't have to, I really don't have to attempt I could, in theory, chip it, but what would the fun in that? Like, let's be real. You sink this, you would be a legend. But no. As long as we don't roll off the green. But this is going to be a hard birdie. If it stopped a bit shorter, we would have probably made it. But we just need to make this par. <sighs> Disappointing that we missed that scoring chance but here we go a par 3 190 yards and that one's a fastball we really are going to miss the green entirely from that that one's too far and that rolls by the hole that's gonna be harsh picking up a bogey here Pain. So now scoring even par through two rounds is looking grim. So we're definitely looking at missing the cut now. But I don't want to make even par on one round. I at least want to get one under.
That's as close as we're going to get to that grain. If we somehow eagle this, this would be great, but knowing us, we're just going to have to take what we can get. We get the birdie. Now, big time. We could drive this green if we hit this right. And I believe we did not, but we might get a good kick. We definitely did. As long as it stays in play. That rolled all the way off. That would drive me nuts, honestly. You 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 put a great shot, it just rolls right off. Like Hello. Fifteen feet for birdie. Heartbreak. And we'll save par there. We're just not making the 50-50 shots. Like, you're you're happy that, oh, you're burning a hedge. That's good and all, but when it comes down to tournament play, that's not going to matter. You're just going to lose strokes. And you just don't want to do that. Here, the par 3, 18th. It's going to be wide right. About 20 feet. To finish off two over. And go home. And that just flies right by the hole. Well, we finish with a par. One under for the round. Finishing at record time, 29 minutes. Appreciate everybody for coming by. And again, if y'all like this kind of content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you ring that notification bell to make sure you get all the updates on our content here. And so we're going to be moving on to next week's tournament as we just missed a cut by seven strokes. We're going to get some upgrades here, but unfortunately that's not going to be usable for us now because uh, we missed our first cut of the season. A lot of takeaways here. Uh, first round, we missed a lot of tee shots, that's for sure. And then, like I said, a lot of 50 50 putts. First round, putts did not break when we thought they would. Second round, they uh, started to get serious. And, uh,. We didn't stop it enough in time to make the second putt easier. Those are the big takeaways there. I'm... I will say I'm disappointed, but at the same time, 
it's a learning experience and this was something I was dealing with during the practice rounds but I felt a lot better about my results here compared to before I was fighting for seven over but in previous tournaments but knowing that we finished under par this round and had a few opportunities to finish under par the first round I felt like we definitely had a chance but again those 50 50 putts we did not make and we just didn't set ourselves up for good shots you know, putting us 20 30 feet out we made a couple of 20 foot putts but we needed to make more we, we needed to make 40 foot putts for uh, birdie and that's that's what didn't help us so we needed to work on our approaches work on our irons make sure that we, we put the ball where we needed to be you know we need to get that tempo down pat get it get it locked in so that way we're able to compete make cuts but uh yeah that's gonna do it for us today i really appreciate everybody for coming out and uh we'll see if next week we're gonna be able to play in some tournaments and that's all we got for today and as always i'm freddie j y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow until next time we'll see you